today I am just going to start probability which is very important for placement interviews and other exams also. So just we are going for basic trick and the basic concept. Just to see. So this is the probability part one and this is basic concept. So what is the basic concept of probability is what? First we have to know what is probability basic formula. So probability of any event, probability of any event is what? Favorable outcome. This is favorable outcome divided by total outcome. Now question arises what is favorable outcome and what is total outcome. So favorable outcome is that is the if there is any experience. Suppose you are taking the example of one point case. This is one point case. So suppose you are throwing a one point. So you know point have head and tail both. So if we throw the point, we will get head or tail. This is called sample space. Okay. So throwing a coin is an experiment and the result is what? It may be head that is H, it may be tail that is tail. So head and tail are the sample space. That is total outcome. H and is what? Total. When we will throw one coin, we will get total outcome two. That is one head or tail. So head is one outcome, tail is other outcome. Okay. Now if we want to find probability of head, that means if we throw a one point, then what is the probability of coming head? Okay. So head is what that is favorable outcome. What we need, what we, we have to calculate that is called favorable outcome. So here probability of head, so head is favorable. So how many head? One. So this is favorable outcome is 1 and total outcome is what? 2. So this answer is what? 1 by 2. This is the correct answer. When we throw 1 point, then what is the probability of head? So favorable outcome by total, favorable outcome is what? Head. So head is 1, so this is 1. And total outcome 2. Again, if there is a question, probability of tail. Yani if we throw one coin, then what is the probability of tail? So here tail is the favorable outcome. So again here tail is one. So this is one and total outcome is two. So our answer is two. Again, if there is a question, what is the probability of number one? So you know if we throw a coin, coin have only two side head and tail. So there is no any one. Okay. So probability of one, one is not in our sample scale. So number of one is zero. So here our probability will be zero by two that is zero. So this is the important point. The probability of any event, probability of any event cannot be less than 0 and cannot be more than 1. So probability of an event lies between 0 to 1 including 0 and 1. So that means 0 is less than equal than probability of any event and probability of n less than equal than 1. So probability of event is 0 to 1 including 0 and 1. So minimum probability of any event will be how much? Zero. And maximum probability of any event will be how much? That is one. So this is the most important concept. Okay. Now just to see two point cases. So this is next point is what? That is two point case. So in the previous one we have taken only one coin. Now we have taken two coin. So what will be the as simple as we get it total outcome? That is total outcome. So what will be the total outcome? 
So total outcome will be how much? That is suppose on one point there is a head, other point there. So this is one. In the same way, suppose there is a one edge and other also edge. So this is second outcome. In the same way, suppose one point have ten, other point have ten. This is the third outcome. In the same way, here also, suppose there is a one head and there is, suppose there is a tail and there is a head. So one point have tail, other head. So that is TH. Again, you see, just like head tail, head head, tail head. So again, this is a tail tail and so there is a four out. So when we throw the two coin at a time, we will get four outcome that is four sentences. Now the question is what? What is the probability of what is the probability of that is both edge? Okay. So if we throw the two coin, then what is the probability of both coin have two edge? So just to check it, only there is a one outcome which have both edge. So favorable outcome is 1 and total outcome is 2. So our correct answer is 1 by 4. In the same way, if we have to find probability of 1 edge, that means what is the probability that only have 1 edge. So you see 1 edge have this outcome, 1 edge have this outcome. This, edge, this outcome has 2 edge and this outcome at 2 t. So we need to find probability of 1. Favorable outcome is what? The outcome which is only 1. So here 1 is here. So 2 outcome is there. So our correct answer will be 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. In the same way probability of at least at least 1 edge. This is most important probability of at least 1. What is the meaning of at least one edge? At least one edge meaning that is there should be a one, minimum one edge and maximum any number of. Minimum one edge should be and maximum any number. So you see in your total outcome how many outcome have at least one edge. So this is one edge, okay. This is two edge, it is also okay because minimum one, maximum no limit. So this is also okay. But this is to T, T. Both have T, so there is not any one edge. So it is not our favorable outcome. Here only one edge, it is our favorable outcome. So in this four outcome, we have three favorable outcome, TH, ST and W. So our answer will be how much? 3 by 4. Again you see probability of at most, at most 2 edge. So this is the question, probability of at most 2 edge. Now what is the condition? What is the meaning of at most 2 edge? So at most 2 edge means what? Maximum number of 2 edge. Maximum number of 2 edge. So minimum have no limit. But maximum have limit that is 2 edge. So we cannot go, you can say more than 2 edge. We can go less. So maximum is 2 edge and minimum is not key. Okay. So just to check how many outcome which have maximum 2 edge. So this have 1 edge, it is okay because not more than 2 edge. It have 2 edge, it is also okay. It have no edge, it is also okay because not more than but least is not key. So here not edge but it will be my favorite. Here 1 edge, it is also fair. So at most 2 edge that is not more than 2 edge. So every outcome has not more than 2 edge. So favorable is what? 4. So here favorable outcome 4 and total outcome also 4. So our correct answer will be 4 by 4. This is the case of 2 coin case. Okay. Now we are going for dice. So next point is what you see here. So if we take one dice, one dice case, so you know well what is the dice. Dice have six number, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we 
Throw a dice, we will get all the six numbers. So any one of the six numbers. So what is the sample space or you can say total outcome. So this is total outcome. So if we throw a one dice, we, can, we will get one, two, three, four, five and six. Any number from this. Sometimes we get one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five, maybe six. So if there is a question, find the probability of even number. That means if we throw a one dice, then what is the probability of even number? You know well what is even number? Any number which is divisible by 2. So you see there is an outcome 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in all outcome how many numbers are even which is my favorable. So here 2, 4 and 6. These 3, 2, 4, 6 outcome are even number. These are our favorable outcome. So correct answer will be 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. Again if there is a question probability of odd number. That means if we throw a 1 dice then what is the probability of odd number. So you know well what is odd number? The number which are not even that are called odd number. So 1 is odd, 3 is odd, 5 is odd. Again you found 3 outcome are odd number. So our answer will be 3 by 6 that is 1 by 3. Now the most important part is what? Probability of prime number. Mostly a student confused in this prime number. So first we have to know what is prime number. So prime number is a number which is not divisible by any other number. Except one and itself. So one is not. Lord can feel that one is a prime number. But one is not prime number because it is divided by only one. We have to two factor making. So two is a prime number. First prime number is two. Then second one three and then one. So in our outcome one two three four five six. This three outcome two three five is my favorable outcome. So again our answer is 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. So if there is a question, you find the probability of number, number more than, more than 6. Now you see in our outcome only there are a number 1 to 6, not more than 6. So our favorable outcome here no, that is 0. So our answer is 0 by 6, that is 0. Now one more example, probability of number less than 6. So how many number are less than 6 in total outcome? That is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our correct answer is 5 by 6. So for today we are going to up to this. In next video that is part 2 video we will go for the next that is the 1 die scale. Then we go for second die scale. Then there is a uh, you can say the cards question. And then I will go for the tricky question of permutation and combination. So to watch it if you have any doubt then you go for comment and see a video from starting to end. Thank you.